we get asked if owls eat rats. Well, you got to believe it. I mean, here's a study that we do. Five years down the road, 15 occupied owl boxes producing baby owls every year. This is a panel. They grow seed. It's like a dinner bell for rats. So every year, twice a year, we service these boxes. We collect the pellets from inside the box. We get the pellets from outside the box. We then take them back to the office with all the coordinates, and we work out how many dead rats we've got. We start by taking 10, here's Sarah taking 10, putting them on the scale. She works out an average weight for a pellet, and then we take all of the pellets and we stick those on the scale. And it's a simple extrapolation, seven grams for a pellet. We weigh the whole lot after that, and we get to here, 2,443 grams of dead rats. That works out at 349 pellets. That's a lot of pellets from six months of one particular owl box. We also break the pellets up. We want to see what's in there. We want to see who these rats are. Sometimes they're just the rattus rattus. Sometimes they're flare rats, whatever it is. They're coming to Panar to look for seed, and our owls are killing them. So Francois goes through a little bit of a biology thing, working out who's who in the zoo. And then from there, we take our 349 pellets. Now, that's from one owl box. And with those pellets, sometimes there's two skulls. So we can't say one pellet equals one dead rat. Sometimes one pellet can equal two dead rats. So we times it by a factor of 1.3. We think that's about right. And then we work out 1.3. We're sitting with 453.7 dead rats for one box. We've got 15 boxes, so you do the maths. Oh, I'll do the maths. 6,806 dead rats in six months. Those are owls. No poison, no rat traps, no nonsense. Just nature doing its thing. 